morning guys. Welcome to part day number one. Number one. I'm excited. Cold? You might... No, sorry. It is chilly. It's cold. You might have noticed a second ago, I was in a vest. I have that underneath us now. I had to run back to the room and get a jumper because immediately that we stepped out the door, I was like, I mean, I'm in trousers and I was like, vest and trousers, good balance because it's going to be like 25 degrees later. So it's going to be like mild now, right? No, it's freezing this morning. Ooh. It's really difficult to dress for that as a park day because you know it's going to be warm later, but in the morning, it's like, almost like feels like frosty. Yeah, it's just like I'm out in a cold, but you know, I'm in a so t-shirt and shorts. And then because I have such a small bag, I just have basically a phone holder. I can't like put the jumper away later. So I don't know whether we'll end up coming what? back later or not, but then I'm gonna need the jumper again later. So it's just difficult when the weather's like this. We complain about how hot Florida is, yep. but at least it's consistent. <laughs> <laughs> in about 10 seconds that would have been the entire walk to the train station from the hotel oh yeah the train station it's like literally so close so it's so good if you're at the moxie um but yeah one thing i would say is if you come into disneyland like beyond september up till maybe bring a jump up till maybe like april but then april sometimes gets really cold um yeah, don't assume if the midday is really, really warm that you can sort of dress for that for the whole day because it's a bit more awkward than that. In that entire conversation, we've done our whole walk to the train station and then it'll be 4 euro 30 for us to hop on from here and get off at Disney. You clicked one again? Yeah, I know. No, I've had two. Oh, ones. okay. I don't know. Train's four minutes away, so we're just waiting for that. And in case you missed yesterday's video, we are here as a bit of a part two to our honeymoon because we got married two, mu two months ago. Yep. So this is like a bit of a part two and Disney have really kindly invited us to spend part two of our honeymoon in the parks. So the park days of this trip is a gift from Disney and also our friend um, who helped arrange that for us, who's Theories by T. So if you guys are into like comic book related things or pop culture of any kind, Marvel, DC. Cool podcasts. He has a new podcast as well. If you're into any of that kind of like geeky stuff that we're into nerdy nerdy yeah, stuff geez, but... like if you like theories behind movies and tv shows easter eggs all that stuff he is he is the only guy you should be watching so go check out his um stuff and i'll put his out on the screen now but he um he really kindly arranged this for us and helped arrange it with disney so it's just like the best wedding gift that we could have asked for from him um, and he knows us so well clearly so we're super excited and thank you so much Disney for inviting us down. Um, we have got park hoppers, so we'll be in both parks today and both parks and tomorrow. we've got something called... We do have something called direct access, so just full disclaimer. We, we don't know exactly how it works just yet, but we're pretty sure it works like premier access, so that just means we can skip queues for rides. Um, I'm not sure what limitations or anything we have just yet, but just full disclosure. Um, so that we're being completely transparent. If you see this face, it'll be IP. <laughs> oh, God. We feel super lucky, don't we? Yep. Really, Very really good. lucky. And um, we're just gonna have the best time. This is our second time ever in Disneyland Paris. The first time we came, we were not experienced Disneyers. Um, it's what started it all off for us. We just popped into the parks on a Paris trip thinking nothing would really come from it. I remember downloading the app to see the rides and I was overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, I can't be bothered. Yeah, like, just like why do we need to put so much effort into this? Like, we don't care, we're not really that much of Disney people. We, we, we like Marvel and Star Wars, it, but we didn't care about anything else. I think it was Hyperspace Mountain. Hyperspace Mountain really kind of like 
start it all off but we had such an amazing time and we came became such Disney adults, adults. No, and no no shame and it just reignited all of the like things we loved as a kid and stuff like that and then we booked our trip to Florida then booked another two trips to Florida and here we are now coming back to Disneyland Paris so if you like to see Disney park content um, I do lots of Instagram stuff TikTok stuff and here on YouTube so go follow me on my other platforms but if you like to see that kind of stuff you'll definitely see a lot here because it's pretty much the only kind of holidays we do at this point isn't it yeah yeah with the odd European trip thrown in but we love it and we wouldn't have it any other way no nope. we're excited to be back at Disneyland Paris so that we can compare bits to Disney World I've heard some things are better like um, some rides are different some yeah rides are better. I've heard Big Thunder's better here obviously I couldn't compare last time I was here so that's really exciting Tara, oh, the train is, and our train is here so we're gonna we're gonna head to gonna head to the parks Tigger in his costume. For those that don't know, Tigger's my favourite Disney character ever. Becky's not allowed to go over with Tim this morning because no. she will cry. I cried last time I met him at Disney World, so we don't want to make a scene. We're in and we're sorted. We're so happy we to are be back. Sorted. Thank you very much, Disney. It feels so good to be here, and I'm actually enjoying the chillier weather because it really suits the Same. Halloween decorations. Josh is a little bit cold. I'm warming up um, in but yeah, Main Street looks so good with all of the Halloween decorations. And there's the castle down there. We're oh, gonna yeah. go see it in a sec. Oh, yeah. So we have this Disney tradition that we always ride Haunted Mansion first. That actually started here. Yeah, it started here and we just I don't know, we've just kept it up, haven't we? Um, so we're going to head to Phantom Manor first. Uh, just to let you guys know, Disneyland Paris do have a rule where you um, do not film on attractions, so we won't be filming on attractions while we're here. We just want to respect the other guests and the rules here. <laughs> We're going to share all of our highlights with you over the next couple of days. Food, Food rides, comparing things to Disney World, um, our favourite bits of merch and stuff like that. So we're going to be sharing all the good stuff. and Just, just some of the stuff we didn't get to do last time we were here. There's, yeah, a, there's we a certain something underneath the castle. The, the, uh, we, we couldn't go into the castle last time we were here because it was there was maintenance. So we're so excited to see. Um, Whatever's there. There's, there's lots of bits we haven't done, so you'll be seeing a lot of first impressions from us. Well, there it is. Oh, you a castle. A castle. She's so pretty. More than that. Look up, look up. We didn't see that last time we were here. No, we didn't. <laughs> Just walking past this area and it looks so good. Yo ho 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 the pirates lay from I'm excited to do pirates later. Oh, yeah. There it is. It it looks a little different than I remember, it looks really good. Well, you can actually get a bit closer to the house. Well, before I could compare, I thought they looked the same, but they don't look the same. They do not. I'm excited to get in. Are you ready? Yeah. That was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was creepy. Yeah, it was creepier. There's like some bits of it that I, I was thinking, wow, this is actually quite scary. Yeah. <laughs> creepy. 
creepier than Florida. There's an area when you, after you go into the doors, when you're walking through, uh, before you get on the ride, there's a really cool like walking bit where you can see things. Whereas in Florida, all of that's in the queue area outside. Nice. I'm gonna find some food now because um, we're very hungry. So we're gonna decide what we're gonna eat and we'll show you guys what we choose. We did find out some news about rides though. Well, oh yeah, we found out that Indiana Jones is closed while we're here because they've delayed the opening a week um, or the reopening. But we love that ride, so that's a bit sad. So it just means we'll have to come back again another time. It gives us an excuse to come back. We have grabbed breakfast in Cable Car Bake Shop. There's actually not too much open, is there, until 11. Um, but that's fine by us because we're... Well, I'm a big fan of pastries and I've got a sweet tooth this morning and then Josh has gone for a muffin and then we've got some hot drinks here. The decor in here is so cute. The light up here, wallpaper. So good. It's like a little Parisian shop, isn't it? Oh, behind you, it's got the cable car. Usable. Oh yeah, it's not to go cups, is it? Everything's reusable, yeah. We saw this, which we thought was really good. We're about to go on pirates. Super excited. How good the ship looks from the back. Just tripped over a child for one second. Josh is feeling the cold, aren't you, mate? Peas, smuggling <laughs> peas. <laughs> We're gonna look for a um, sweatshirt or a hoodie or something for him. Um, but by the time we find one, it's probably gonna be 26. 26 degrees. So, not sure if there'll be any point, but we'll we're after merch anyway. So that'll be fun. Oh yeah, look. Should we go down? Yeah. Let's have a look. Daisy Jones. That's actually kind of stabby. <laughs> This is new to us, we didn't do this before. Which way do we go? This way? You are well and truly lost. But we're going back up now. <laughs> Did you fall? <laughs> it's because it's quite dark in here. The thing is, there's a lot of pressure on us because we've got people following us, but we're not going the right way. I think we're leaving. <laughs> we just done a full circle and didn't get anywhere. <laughs> no, we need to figure this out. And a nice little viewpoint. And now we're about to go across a bridge. I don't know about this. Go on. <laughs> and that's where we started and we got to go to the same spot. Wait, wait, wait. This is a funny you try and run. <laughs> go on. Battery, me. go. <laughs> what an idiot. Look who we found! There he is! They look so cute! Ready for pirates? I am. What did you think of pirates? Good. I loved it too! I really want I didn't realise really... how different it was. Mm. Um, I really want to be at the pirates restaurant. I expected it to be the same. 
but it's not it's, it's definitely not. There's we're, a lot that's different. Wear some scares in there. If you ever think, oh, it's not worth going to, if you're like from the UK like us, and you ever think it's not worth going to Disneyland Paris because we do Florida, it is worth coming here to experience okay. the different stuff. Yeah. You're thinking, oh, it's the same, mostly the same ride. A lot of it is different versions, so. Yeah. And it's so close to us in France if you're from the UK, so it's definitely worth it. I mean, we've been on two rides so far, they're both completely different. Both completely different, and the restaurant in there looks so cool. There's a restaurant inside the ride. We couldn't show it because we would have had to record on the ride. And the restaurant doesn't open till 11. Oh, yeah, that helps. Um, we did try and get a reservation, but it was booked up. I think it can be quite difficult to get a res there. Planning on it, do it the full 60 days out, for yeah. sure. Outside of Small World, looks crazy here. It's huge. Come on, give it a miss. No, we've got to go on it. We've got to go on everything. <laughs> because Tomorrowland is my favourite area of Magic Kingdom. Yeah. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Are you excited? I am uh, a very excited. I am. This is my favourite ride across Disney wait, 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 wait. parks. You haven't ridden this in two years. I'll answer that again when we come out. Okay, I will, but I, I still think it will be my favourite ride across the globe. The globe. It's very Bioshock. Yeah, it's a little bit steampunky, isn't it? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Should see it going up in a sec, but if you've never ridden this ride before, it's nothing like hyperspace. Sorry, it's nothing like Space Mountain in Florida. And the start of the ride shoots up here really, really quick. It starts from the top and it's Star Wars themed. So yeah, nothing like Space Mountain. And it's just amazing. There you go. Oh, it's so good. I just suddenly got really nervous. Alright, you want to check our tech mission. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> what is this? Uh, it's nothing like I remember. No. But it's really good. Um, imagine rock, if you've done Rock and Roller Coaster, imagine that, but with like. Star it's, Wars. It's longer, it's Star Wars, and there's more. Feels like more loops and stuff. Okay, so I have to revise my statement. Because you were right. It's my second favourite ride. Yeah. Guardians reigns number now, one. I think for me. now I've been to Florida, we've done Disney World and Universal. Yeah. The best way I can describe it is a mix between Space Mountain and Hulk. And rock and roll, I think. Yeah. It feels very rock and roll. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's so good. You've got to do it. If you're a Disney goer and you haven't done Paris, you've got to do it. I can't help but make Star Wars noises going around. Like, come out, no. my, my throat always hurts. <laughs> we do that on, on normal Space Mountain. You know, when it does the, the circle bit, we go. <laughs> that was hurts my throat as well. Okay, now we're heading to Star Tours because we're in the Star Wars mood. Well, that was very good. We'll definitely be going on that Star again this trailers. trip. My throat is hurting actually. Scream too much. Yeah. That was so much fun and then though. Then might get some food. After. Yeah, we'll look for some lunch then. These um, Philhar Magic um, little posters and banners look really cool. I love this little outfit that Mickey wears. He's like Fantasia, Fantasmic outfit. Love the way this area looks around here. Yeah. 
very boyish. Yeah, it. steampunk meets Star Wars. In the interest of wait times, because I realise I haven't spoke about that yet, and for anyone who's come in sort of beginning of October time when the Halloween stuff's just started, it can be, I guess, a little bit of a popular time. Yeah. But the kids have gone back to school, so it's a bit of an odd one to judge. Um, up until now, so it is currently half 11, up until now, all of the rides that we've gone on have been like five to 15 minute Born standbys. It, yeah, five to 10. Five to 10, like, easy walk-ons and we've not really needed our premier access if you're thinking about buying premier access this though that we're about to go on at half 11 star tours i can see that it's a 30 minute standby um, the and hyperspace is 35 hyperspace is 35 so i guess like half 11 is the turning point you saw something was 70 minutes earlier though what was that 70 minutes was crush's coast crush's coast was 70 minutes this morning so some things are 10 still 10 minutes after the park opened oh there you go so yeah some things are worth the premier access it works straight away um, but yeah, half 11 things are really picking up and starting to get a lot busier now. So that's like our judge on the busyness at the minute. That's just for this year though, it can be different every year. And we'll just really quickly show you that the premier access is different to Genie Plus. So you get given a QR code for and the just day. just like put it into the machine. Yeah, we'll, sh we'll show you now. So you just like put it in here and scan it and then he swaps to my one and zaps that too and then that's all done. We're like skipping this area, so I wanted to show it real quick because it's so cool. We've got R2D2 there and C3PO. It's the same as the Star Wars in um, Florida for that bit, but I always love to see it. <laughs> I'm now in my favourite gift shop. Well, I don't know if it still is my favourite gift shop, but it was my favourite one last time we came. We had a really good version of the ride, didn't we? We had Vader at the start, which was really good. That was probably the pod best bit of it. Yeah, we had pod racing, Vader. Now we're going to have a look at a bit of merch. A bit of merch. And oh, they've got the new Ahsoka stuff. Oh, how cute. So cute. What are these? Little mini droids. Oh, you can build them like different parts. That's really cool. have the lightsaber building bit in here as well. You like it? Yeah, it's cool. We are now heading into the like Star Wars canteen thing. No Star Wars, because they're like classic Disney cartoon. Oh, last time we came in here, it was um, it was like a whole Star Wars thing on. They had like a Star Wars quiz on there, um, and that was a lot of fun. And then they also had stormtroopers coming out onto the stage. But today, it looks like they've got classic Disney cartoons on. Oh, I actually love these cartoons when we watch it on the TV in the resorts at Florida. But it's always just got something good going on in here. So we grabbed lunch here last time. We're gonna grab lunch here again. Down here they have um, burgers and fries and like your, um, it, it's like your typical lunchy bits, but it's just nice and easy and quick. And, and we like sitting in here, but we're gonna do mobile order so that we don't have to queue. So we're gonna go find a seat. Here he is. What we got? Cheeseburger. We have a bottle of water because hydration is important, kids. And fizzy high break. Fizzy high, high, high what? Hydration. Ink is out because we're classic. 
Look how cute the cartoons are. Like the lens star tours on the other side of us. Nice little view. And then we went for some fries each and I went for a chicken burger. So this is Josh's. What did you go for? Cheeseburger. Very nice. Yeah, I think I had this before actually. So I remember having this orange sauce before. It looks really, really good. This is how we eat when we know we're about to play buzz together. <laughs> Becky's words are the first one is a practice unless she wins. Yeah. 100%. If I lose the first time, it's practice. If that's, I win, that's, a loser to that's just how it goes. I mean, obviously, I'm going to win. I'm actually unbeaten on this turf. So. You just treat on every other turf. Not this turf. That's all that matters. I'm gonna go smash Josh at Buzz. I'm gonna go for 99999. Watch this space. <laughs> Who's the light here? Smack me, the robot is in train to fall the generator at least to fusion. Without this generator, we will all be privy of energy. And to the mercy of the sun. At least we know what Buzz sounds like French now. Mission accomplished, Space Rangers. It's been an honor serving with you. Get the status party to determine your rank. Don't forget to holster those blasters. I guess we'll never know. No, no, no. I've said if I lose, it's a practice round. And he accepted the terms. Or he didn't deny the terms. See what effort it looks like. It's really concentrating so hard. Is it in focus? Look how serious Josh is. No, see yours. That's the face of a loser. I was concentrating so hard. We're about to go on. Big thunder. You excited? Yeah. I'm particularly excited about this one because I have heard from several sources that it is a better version than the Disney World one. And I'm a big fan of the Disney World one. I really like Big Thunder. But there's only one way to test it. So we're going to let you know. We'll say whether it's more intense or more just like visually exciting stuff like that just in case you're interested it is currently 20 past one 20 past one and the standby is 45 minutes <laughs> definitely more intense oh yeah like particularly the dark bits there's two dark bits it's really good more intense found a spirit jersey that josh likes it's really cool I love the way it says Phantom Manor instead of Haunted okay, Manor because yeah. if you wore that in, That's what I like. if you wore that in Disney World, it'd be like, oh, he's he's well seasoned. And then you've got this like print on here, which is really cool. Very Big nice. Fan. How much? Eighty. Not too bad, considering some are more. That's winning, so. Yeah, just to summarise, a big thunder. It was more intense on the dark bits. You don't get many dark bits on the Florida no, one. No. This was like, you cannot see a thing actually at one point and it's really intense. Um, but I don't wanna put anyone off. Like it's not, it's not a million miles from the intensity as uh, Big Thunder in Disney no, World. No, I, I would say it's probably like the same intensity but because it's all in the dark, you have no idea. It just adds to the fear of it. No, no, it's not all in the dark. No, just no. those segments are all in the dark and that adds to the intensity of it. And I probably would say it's a little bit more fun ride wise but i prefer the visual side of disney world's one only because it has the really cool bit where you're going up i thought that looks yeah. where you can look over the edge yeah. if you know what i mean both have some really cool elements so definitely worth riding both it's really dark in here so you might not see but this is so cool got like the dale and then on the hood look that's adorable. Also got some cool key rings in here. Oh. 
Look at the feet on this. Look at the feet on this. Look at the Some very cool kitchen stuff. Wow, look at this one. They've got really good like 3D, um, I forget what this is called, but looks really good. And then on the front, I've got this print. See, I'm not really into wearing spirit jerseys. You don't like that? It's a cuff sleeves. You don't like cuff sleeves? No. But that's an, a sweatshirt has that. Mm. You wear sweatshirts. You always wear sweatshirts. I have under ears as well. I think we've already seen these actually. I don't think we've seen these ones yet on this trip. No. That box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what I've found him doing. <laughs> you enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I suddenly really want fridge magnets. Because <laughs> these are so cool. This one especially. This one's so nice. Imagine having a little fridge with like Polaroid pictures and these. I want them. They're five euro. It's officially the temperature to take the jumper off. It's lovely and warm. Yeah. We purchased that little magnet you saw, the one that said Disneyland Paris, and I thought that was really cool. Yeah. And it was only five euro. We're not having much luck finding t-shirts. You know, like those stores that have like the walls of t-shirts on Main Street in um, Disney World. They don't really seem to have those t-shirts and I always like to get one of those so we're on the hunt for that um, but it doesn't seem to be in Main Street does it? No but we'll get studios again. Yeah we're thinking of heading over to studios now. What time is it? Two o'clock. Pretty much got all the rides done that we want to get done here but we are going to head back um, either later today or tomorrow to do things like Peter Pan and stuff that we haven't done. Peter Pan it's a small world. We'll probably do um, teacups. Yeah. Amongst doing everything we've done today again. 